It's day 390. I'm just going to run some paint up the road because I'm going to paint the wheels on the Merlot. Uh, no one noticed yesterday that I aimed the video 388 and we had 388 the day before. So you're all snoozing. Look, we should have painted them red so we look like a fence. Just dropped the paint off at Cowboy Steve's. We call him Cowboy Steve because he wears cowboy boots, not because he's a cowboy painter. Um, just come back to the yard now, the chip won't start, so I don't see what's wrong with that. It's not been running yesterday. Um, so Andrew was too excited and was playing on his new JCB. We'll see what's wrong with it. Well, that was an easy fix. Uh, Andrew's got it started. So I don't know what it was, but he said he turned the key off and on again and it started. Why you didn't do that before you rang me? Who knows? Just looking how that cab stands higher than that one because the airbags on that it's had an air leak from new. Keep going flat, so and that one doesn't now. Chris is there. Harry's dad. He's uh, moving the GPS over, so he's just doing an update before he moves it across. Adam's got Stuart's spreader and weight block on. He went spreading fertilizer last night for him because they're planting spuds around the corner. So he could plug in his memory card into Adam's tractor because it's a John Deere and he's got a John Deere. And it and out all the spreader work properly. So he was spreading some fertilizer last night for them, save them dropping their machines on and off. Does so anyone want to own up to that fresh scratch? Well, I guess that's what it is. Another field of wheat I'm pleased with. Um, not so much the one on the other side of the road, the ditch. But whatever happens at April showers, can you see how much the ground has cracked already? You can see them cracks in the ground. But it's dried out, shrinking. And the roots are pretty dry on the wheat. So we could really do with some April showers. I'm putting on a herbicide now to kill any sort of grass weeds and different things in this field of wheat. Again, it was after beans. Um, it's looking really well. Again, I need to remind you, this was the field that I put summer barley on the other year. So we combined the winter barley and then sowed it with spring barley. And for some reason, the soil's just totally transformed and, and, and everything we've grown in it since seems to be doing a lot better. So the beans were okay, apart from back in the ditch. But the, wheat looks stunning so we'll definitely try and get some spring barley in after barley this year again see if we can harvest it if not it's just a cheap cover crop this is the field next to it so it looks okay sort of over there but the headlands are terrible but we have patched them up with uh, spring wheat so hopefully again they'll green up like the one yesterday i had the rate wrong though then when i come out spraying so i'm having to go back over the field to get rid of what's left because this is the last field that we control on the wheat and then i'm back onto fungicides but yeah, it's not all glorious wheat everywhere. Sam's just coupled up the fence, the new one, for its maiden voyage, delivering some barley straw for the riding stables. Just need to strap it on now. Yay. Quick look at the new fence. Obviously it's got the digital radio, which is really good. And we've just found some USB ports in here, in the armrest. Um, We've also realised though, it's only got heating mirrors, not electric mirrors. Bit of a step backwards there, because there used to be the controls in there to move them. We can't find them in here, but we can find the heated one inside the aircon settings. Um, so, bit of a backward step there. Where are we now? Uh, for some reason we've got a profile with Ollie Blogs on. Um, and then, found this in here, a duck. This is a joke that me and my mum have. Every time she goes on holiday or something like that, I always hide this in a suitcase or when she moved in the new house. And she always tries to hide it in the combine or different things when we get something new. But we always try and hide it so it's not found for weeks. But well, that's been found pretty easily. I presume that's some sort of GPS aerial. But yeah, it's just obviously it's the demonstrator that we had the other week. So it's extra shiny though, because they've really polished it. No, I stand corrected. Sam couldn't find it, but there's the mirror button. So you press that, and then you've got the mirrors on here. Whew. 
Patrick. Must be dinner time. There's a grain wagon here. Obviously the last 20 people that loaded oilseed rape out of here decided it was too much effort to move the pedestals and they just worked around them and now one's fell over. Typical. It's definitely dinner time because now they're here for sugar beet pellets as well. I don't know anyone else but as it happened where wagon drivers always turn up either out of hours or at dinner times. But they do here. There's a quiz question for you. Does anyone know what this bucket's for? And also why it's got two sets of pins. See if you know, leave a comment below. We've got some slugs eating a field of wheat, spring wheat, which is unusual because it's quite dry in the day and frosty at night. And for some reason, we can't get the quad to start, so we thought we'd tow it with a Merlot and that's not working, so there must be some sort of electrical problem. It's probably a mouse eating something over winter. Look at his little the face. Isn't the camera a bit claustrophobic it's though? It's got LEDs. He's all kitted up as well. Adam's made up because he's moving Stuart Selly on there. It's only a, a, a seven metre one though. They have tyres, therefore, so they don't wear out quick in yards, but they're not very good at the field. We have a quick nose yet and planting spuds. This is the field we put a drain from that pond to that one. It's nicely dried up now. Soil's pretty much turned to dust. One over there looks to be ripping it up. One's bed forming, two are de-stoning, and one's planting. Yeah, these are, these are spud drills. I came to try and get a video of them filming, but unfortunately my battery went flat when I was walking over. So um, I'm back in the car now and charged it up. But I'll get us some footage tomorrow of these drilling spuds. I've also got my second COVID jab tomorrow, so I hope I'm uh, not ill from it. This is the pipe off the Merlot that's now fixed that had the oil leak. Um, Paul, who normally does it, it was off ill, so that's why it took a bit of time for him to sort that out. Kind of another quiz question today. Does anyone know what that funny flap's for? Just on one side of the fertilizer spreader of Stuart? If you do, leave a comment. This was yesterday's quiz question. That basically is what holds the door open. So it clicks round into that thing. And then the door's solid. And then you twist a little latch inside and release it. So most tell you handlers have that on because often if you're feeding cows, you're jumping in and out all the time. So you want easy access. A bit like how postman vans used to have sliding doors on them. You never see that anymore. But a little close look in the cab. This is, um, and it's LED lights fitted today because it was supposed to come with LED lights and it didn't. So they've come and fitted them today. And it's Andrew's pride and joy and it's a bit of a beast. I'm well impressed with it. Look at that, it even lifts up bags of fertiliser. I've got my COVID vaccination tomorrow, my second one, and apparently it makes you worse than the first one, and the first one made me really ill. So I've not really showed you, the, this is the old 724, I've not really showed you the new one in much detail yet, probably because once you saw it when it was on demo, but also I'm thinking that I'll do that over the weekend because if I'm ill, I won't really be working, I won't be going too far away. So what I'll do is, we'll get the two 724s out in the yard and we'll look at the differences between the two and see, you know, just see really what, what, why there is a difference. A lot of people are like, oh, you must have loads of money if you buy new tractors and why have you still got the old one? We've still got the old one here because they were swapping the GPS over and they're in no hurry to take it yet. So now the GPS is pretty much swapped over. That, that will be going soon. But there was no worry. I think the wagon driver was off picking someone else up anyway. But like I say, you don't need money to buy tractors, you just need finance. So that will go. We'll turn up the finance agreement, that had a few years left to run on it, and we'll just start another one. Just simple as that. Also, uh, it was Caleb's birthday yesterday, and I did promise that I'd uh, mention him or put someone in the window screen of the, of the, of the Merlot, or the Bateman or whatever I was driving that day. Anyway, I totally forgot, I got confused. I thought it was um, today and um, forgot. So happy birthday, and sorry about that. Uh, I do do our birthday shouts out, 
please don't tell me everyone's birthday because I think I'd have to do like 50 a day if everyone started messaging me. But if it's if it's a small child that's really interested in farming, then um, I do make exceptions. Oh, Glenn, who taught me to weld. Got the new front pin for Project Merlot. The tires have now been painted silver a so I'll pick them up in the morning as well. So we can start building that that back up now where it's worn and get get the carriage back on and then it's uh, on the wheels back on the tires on then it's obviously usable and then it needs this exhaust sorting and then painting the new tractor had got dusty so sam's just blowing it off now because if he wets it it'll all stick to it because it's dead fine dust so he's using a leaf blower and just blowing all the dust off the sides of it that's about it for today uh, here's an outro for sean goff Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and uh, keep watching, keep subscribing, and keep liking. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, one last thing, there's lots of quiz questions today, so there's a special prize for someone that gets them all right.